Hi YouTube, today I want to show you a modification I've done to my motorhome. Um, it's to do with inflating the tyres. Uh, it's a typical 6.4 metre motorhome. And um, the inflators you can buy, typically from Halfords, come with a 3 metre flex. So plugged into the dashboard and see it in there it's okay for the front but it's actually well short of getting to the rear tire to be able to blow it up so um, the modification what I've done uh, is modified the existing plug socket that was on the side, this is a Swift, it was a two pin plug socket and I've changed it to a 12 volt marine cigarette lighter socket. So this is the story of how I did it. So you can see now it's a lot easier to get the inflator to the rear wheel. This is the um, new assembly, uh, the kit, and uh, it comprises of um, a marine stainless steel socket, cigarette lighter socket. Some connectors, stainless screws, the uh, mounting plate itself, and some non-setting mastic to go around the back of the uh, where it seals onto the bodywork and uh, around the screw holes so you can see now uh, I've assembled it and uh, the socket sits nice and neat in there with these rain deflectors so this would be uh, to the front of the vehicle you can see on the back that Everything's nice and flush, the connections there, the stainless steel screws. So the beauty of this is um, it's surface mount. So you just drill a hole in the bodywork and seal it. And literally, as the wires come through, you can make the connection and then fit it onto the side of the bodywork. Um, so it's dead easy. Now the aim is to fit a new socket on either side of the vehicle. So this is the side I've just shown you. And um, what I've done is I've um, picked up with the existing wiring circuit inside. So it's reusing the existing fuse, that's a 10 amp fuse. I've drilled down through the floor, sealed it with mastic, and run the cable across the top of the chassis underneath to a corresponding spot, luckily, there's a cupboard which allows me to get at the other side so I can see here this is the inside wall and there's a vent in the floor already so I can bring the cable up through there so I'm just going to measure now um, on the outside the approximate position and uh, look at drilling the hole through so this is what I'm using to cut the uh, hole through the wall and um, typically these motorhomes the wall um, composite board is uh, about 25 mil thick about an inch thick so I'm using this hole saw and it's about two inches deep, so it'll go through the wall easily. But these, uh, you can get them off eBay, and they come with um, assorted blades. So you've got a multiple hole saw, um, and you can literally pick which size hole you want. Uh, now the thing is, um, you don't, to make sure that you're in the correct position, 
you don't want to go drilling holes through the wall uh, until you're absolutely certain and even then uh, you go through first with a small pilot drill so that's about one millimeter diameter and uh, the reason for that is if by some chance you're in the wrong position you make a mistake uh, the hole is easy enough to uh, make good afterwards okay so i've marked the corresponding position on the uh, passenger side double checked the measurement and i've drilled through with a small drill bit uh, now i'm going to proceed to uh, put the proper hole in okay i've fitted the hole saw and placing it on the hole i've masked the area off so when the uh, cutter goes through the the body of the cutter won't mark the side of the motor hole So there's the hole through now, just need to clean it up and um, prepare it for fitting the uh, backing plate. Okay, so I've squared a line up from the um, skirt edge with a square and it's just a question of getting the holes marked off now. So I'll line that with the pencil line and mark off the four screw holes with a pencil and then drill through with the one millimeter drill. Okay that's all uh, drilled now ready to go on. What I've done is I've put a bead of uh, non-setting mastic around the inside edge and the screw holes so when it's tightened up it'll just uh, squeeze it in nicely. Um, just got to do the wiring next. Okay, so there's the wiring pulled through from underneath, right across the chassis at the bottom. I check for positive and negative. The old meter there. And the positive goes on to the centre one. All screwed up now, the uh, sealant's just beginning to squeeze out from around the back, trim that off later. Um, just be careful with the screws uh, because this layer is only very thin aluminium in this case or sometimes it's fiberglass but in any case it's always thin so don't over tighten the screws or you'll strip the thread. <laughs> 